Hello, guys. Welcome to Chelligans. This is Jesse, BD7 LLY. Today, we're looking at a topic: the coax cables. We all know that it's a very important part in our radio system. When we're using it, we want as little power be absorbed by it as possible. We want more of the power transmitted through the coax cable to the air. But how we can measure that kind of performance? Today, we are going to use a device to test out the cable loss parameter from a different set of coax cables. Okay, let's dive right in. These are the things that we need today: two set of cables, the coax cables that we are going to measure their performance, and we will have the JNC radio VNA and a set of adapters because. The JNC radio VNA use two set of the SMA cables, and the coax cables. They both use a plug. They're both using a PL259. Thus, we will need some adapters to have them connect to the VNA. So what we have here, we actually need two of these adapters. One side is the、uh, PL. The, uh, sorry, the SL239. Another head is a、uh, is a SMA connector, but unfortunately, I don't have two of these in hand. So we, I have some other combinations, but do the same work. Okay, so let's get started. The very first thing that we need to do is calibration. Turn it on. And for calibration, what we need is the OSL kit, open, short, load, and the cable. They can all be found from the little box. They all come with the JNC radio VNA kit.、Uh, okay, what we are going to set here for the first step is to set the frequency range that we are going to measure. What we do is to click. I prefer using a little pen. Stimulus and start. This device, this device start with 50 kilohertz, so 50 kilohertz, and then we set the stop to 30 megahertz. It will cover most of the HF bands that we're going to use. Okay, 50 to 30 megahertz. So for calibration, what we need is to find the calibration manual, go back, and to cal. Click reset and calibrate. So what we need to do is to follow each of the items that we need to tick. Okay, first of all, we find the open to connect to port one and click open. And when you hear the beep, it means it's a sick. Nothing is the short. And now we have the load. And finally, the T, the through. A very basic principle for measuring the cable loss is like this: that we ca、uh, we connect the two ends of the coax cable to port one and port two. The port one. Will send a will transmit a power, and the port two will receive a power.、Uh, do a very complex, like mathematics, you will know how much power being absorbed the cable, because one side receive and one side send. Is that very simple, right? Okay, through, and now done. Here we're going to save. Our calibration result in one of the channels here, so that for the next time if we come back to the same range, we don't have to calibrate again. Okay, I will just put it to channel four. Oh, for now the calibration is all done. We are able to start testing the cable loss. To measure the cable loss, we need different parameters. Uh, here we are showing on the screen is a SWR and Smith chart. 
but we don't need that for cable loss, so we need to change. We go to the main menu and we click the display and find trace. We disable one trace and only leave the yellow. And for cable loss, what we need actually is the log mag. So we, the mag, uh, for the format, we choose log mag. And one other thing to set is the channel. Channel S11 is using only port one, but for cable loss, we need to use both ports. So we change channel to S21 by just clicking it. Okay. And uh, we need to change a little about the uh, the numbers here. What we do also display, we need to change a little bit of scale. And we will set the wrapper reference position to 2. So 0 will be here. And we scale to 1. This makes the 0 reference line is uh, around the middle and below will be the minus and be, uh, above will be positive and for now it's all set we can connect the uh, two ends of the coax cable to the vna here comes the result we're seeing that uh, from 50 kilohertz to 30 megahertz, the cable loss in dB look like this. If we move the side button, we, it can move the marker and it shows from different frequency, uh, when you operate in different frequency, what kind of uh, uh, cable loss will be on this cable. If we're operating on 14, around 14 megahertz, let's say 14.5755, and it will be uh, around like minus 0405 dB. Yep. And you, you, you can just check in different uh, frequency spot what kind of the cable loss it will be. Uh, so, so far what I see is that um, the cable loss is not big deal right so it should be a good cable let's do a little uh, experiment here let's disconnect the port too let's see what happens yep you see from no matter what frequency the DB the loss is a lot that of course because the power sent here is sending to nowhere Right, so f this experiment also tell me for measuring the cable loss is not only help you to decide whether a cable is good or not, but when a cable is um, has let's say it's a defective product, and you will know that it's a bad product and you won't use it, and to avoid uh, even in the best in the worst situation damage even your equipment. And now we're looking at the second cable in our experiment. The very same uh, process. I will just speed it up. Okay, let's take a look at the results. Okay. Looking at the result, the two cables are both work are both working fine, at least in a frequency range from 50 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. Okay, today we've learned how we use the JNC Radio VNA to test out the performance of uh, the coax cable. And from today, my experience that two of these coax cables actually they're doing a very good job in terms of the cable loss. If you need, if you don't still have one of the JNC Radio VNA or you need some a set of adapters, you can always check out our website and you can find the closest distributors of ours to buy to get yours today. Thank you. 73. Thanks for watching. See you next time.